Assalamu alaikum. A very good evening to all the esteemed guests, audience, and all those who are especially interested in hearing about health and happiness. I, Dr. Kakul Aga, your MC for the evening, welcome you for the first of its kind in the series of health and happiness events under the patronage of His Excellency Sheikh Nahyan Mubarak Al Nahyan. We may kindly have a round of applause. We would like to invite our chief guest, His Excellency Sheikh Nahyan Mubarak Al Nahyan, cabinet member and minister of tolerance, to kindly address the audience. My dearest friend, brother, Dr. Vedic, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your invitation to speak this evening at the Daya Global Foundation Health and Happiness Forum. Uh, may I give a special welcome to our international visitors who have made the effort to travel to Dubai and who join us in our welcoming Arab tent. And we especially welcome our dear brother, Dr. Badik. I am uh, delighted to be in the presence of an audience that is focusing attention upon the relationship between health and happiness. All of you, I'm certain, are committed to promoting healthy lifestyles that help uh, contribute to the happiness. As you all know, healthy lifestyles involves healthy eating, healthy exercise, healthy mind activities, healthy relationships, healthy work practices, a healthy spiritual life and a healthy balance between all of these elements. When we have the balance right, we tend to see greater happiness of individuals and also of societies. This evening, we may all learn more about how to nurture each of these elements in order to contribute to happiness and a healthy living. Tonight, I want to mention briefly a key element of healthy relationships that is sometimes overlooked, and that is the role, the role that tolerance plays in promoting happiness. It is easy to overlook the importance of tolerance in living a happy and a healthy life. In the UAE, our view of tolerance is not simply about enduring the existence of opinions or behaviors that do not concur with our own. It is about recognizing, respecting, and embracing diversity. It is about being secure in your own culture and beliefs so that you respond to what is different with curiosity and compassion rather than with fear and intolerance. To be tolerant, we need to be genuinely concerned for the welfare of our fellow human beings and to take actions based on those concerns. This type of tolerance is important to our health and happiness in two distinct ways. In the first instance, tolerance helps to create a stable 
and prosperous society in which peaceful coexistence permits individuals to pursue health and happiness in a safe and a supportive context. In the second instance, tolerance allows individuals to embrace cultural differences with their positive thought, processes of curiosity and respect rather than the negative ones of fear and mistrust. As you can see, tolerance contributes to creating a safe environment and a positive habit of thought which both add significantly to health and happiness. My dear friends, I am honored to serve in a country that understands the importance of both tolerance and happiness to its prosperity. The extent to which the United Arab Emirates takes happiness seriously is evidenced by the fact that the UAE was the first country in the world to create a cabinet minister position specifically focused on happiness. The Ministry of Happiness has developed the cabinet approved happiness and positivity program that promotes happiness and positivity at work and happiness and positivity at a lifestyle. Happiness and positivity at work aims at instilling happiness and positivity in policies, programs, and services, as well as in the work environment of all government and private entities. Happiness and positivity as a lifestyle aims at raising awareness of its importance through highlighting the sources of happiness and science-backed habits habits that contribute to the happiness of individuals and societies. This second pillar of the happiness and positivity program resonates closely with the focus of this evening's forum. Ladies and gentlemen, concern for the happiness, health and well-being of our citizens and residents is not new to the UAE. It began with our country's founder, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Anahyan, and has <laughs> thank you, and has continued strongly with uh, our uh, president, Zayed Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, supported by the Vice President, Prime Minister of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and by the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and the Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. In their wisdom, our nation's leaders have created a safe, prosperous, open, and innovative society which values both tolerance and happiness. Happiness does not happen by accident. It requires awareness and effort. In the midst of technologically distracting world, it is far too easy to stay occupied without being truly engaged in life. By drawing attention to the relationship between health and happiness, and in particular, the role that healthy lifestyles play in contributing to happiness, your forum provides an important wake-up call and empowers individuals to pursue a healthier and a happier life. I hope 
all of you make the most of this opportunity to reflect on your own lives and how the ideas being presented at this forum may assist you in achieving greater health and happiness. I expect you will or you would not be here. I would like to thank you all and best wishes for a successful forum and God bless you all. And I'm sorry I have to rush because I have to go back to Abu Dhabi. Thank you. Thank you, His Excellency. Now I would like to request Dr. Ved Pratap Vedic to kindly come up on stage and present a memento to His Excellency Sheikh Nahyan Mubarak Al Nahyan. Thank you very much, His Excellency. And we understand, we understand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Happiness and health have been anecdotally linked for a quite a while now. Laughter is the best medicine has become a cliche for a reason. But research backs up for what people have instinctively assumed all along that happiness and health really are connected, and that one's level of happiness really can impact the level of health of a person. Health and happiness have been a much researched area in the past decades. In UAE, it's not only an area of interest, but also of ultimate importance. I request Dr. Ved Pratap Vedic to kindly come up on stage and deliver a brief speech. Kindly come up on stage, Dr. Vedic, to kindly accompany him on stage and take the seats over here on the stage, please. We also invite Dr. Nagpal to please be on stage. We also would like to invite Mr. Jay Narayan Gupta and Mr. Neeraj on stage, please. Finally, please give a round of applause and let's welcome Dr. Vedic to have a few words from him. Uh, giving away the mementos to our speakers and uh, to our guests. Uh, first of all, we would like to invite Dr. Ajit Nagpal, Board of Governors, uh, Amity University, to kindly come up on the dais and take a memento. We need some rounds of applause, please. Thank you. I would like to call upon Dr. VP. I'd also like to invite Mr. Ashok Odrani, Chairman, Supertech Group, UAE. Last but not the least, Mr. Jain Ryan Gupta, Manager, DIA Global. You're kindly requested to come on stage, please. Now I request Mr. Vedic to kindly give away a memento to Dr. Manchanda, please. He has done a great job by sharing so many insights with us. 